Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm excited to be back and continuing this series of Tokyo Mew Mew redesigns. In this video, I will be redesigning Mew Lettuce. I just want to reiterate that my redesigns are not meant to disrespect the original creators of Tokyo Mew Mew in any way. These redesigns are my own interpretations of the characters and come from a place of love for the anime and manga. With that out of the way, I'm super excited for you all to see this redesign so let's just jump right into it. The current sketch you can see on screen right now is not what the final drawing will look like. I ended up changing the pose later on and re-sketching the whole thing. I've cut out most of the sketching process otherwise this video would probably be a whole extra 20 minutes and I personally don't see many people wanting to stick around and listen to this crappy text to speech voice for that length of time. It takes me a while to get the sketch finished before I can begin the line work. However, if you would be interested in seeing the sketching process in future videos, let me know in the comments. You may have noticed the original pose I sketched is just like the pose she is regularly seen doing, but I ended up changing the pose in the end, because I felt that Lettuce in Mew Mew form is a bit more confident than her usual self so I wanted the pose I did to reflect that. If you watched my previous video on Mew Mint, you'll know that I showed a really old redesign I did of her. I have other old redesigns too. I'll pop my really old redesign of Mew Lettuce up on the screen right now. I don't really hate it but I'm just glad to say I'm much more improved right now. I never actually showcased my really old Mew Ichigo design as well so I'll flash that up on the screen right now too. But seriously, I don't know what I was thinking when I drew these. Like, what was even my thought process? Throughout all my Tokyo Mew Mew redesigns, I wanted to create outfits that put more emphasis on the fruits and desserts that the girls are named after, as well as make sure that said outfits match their personalities too. This was the concept outfit for my version of Mew Lettuce. You'll see this pop up a few times throughout the video as I make reference to it. The only thing that changed in the end was the color scheme which you will see very soon. When designing my Mew Lettuce, I was a bit stumped on what I wanted to do with her hair. I didn't know whether I wanted it to be long and flowing, or an updo style instead. I definitely knew I wanted the hair to be practical as the girls are often battling aliens and chimera animals throughout the series. So, I eventually settled on this long braid hairstyle, which I feel suits her a lot. In fact, in the series she is seen wearing her hair in two braids as well so I felt her having one big grand braid was really fitting here. Now that I've added the color, you might be able to see that the dress below the waist is supposed to resemble a head of lettuce, because it's mule lettuce of course. 
Not only that but I feel it looks very smart, very fitting for their personality. I apologize for the speed pain footage in this video. I've noticed during editing that, for some unexplained reason, the darker green I've used in her outfit appears much more dark in the footage and I'm not entirely sure why. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. As with my other Mew Mew redesigns, I wanted to ensure that they all still look cohesive as a group when put side by side. So, I included the same frills and bows like what I've done with my two previous designs. There are four Mew girls left after this. Pudding, Zakuro, Barry and Ringo. I'll probably be doing Mew Pudding next unless you have any specific preference. Let me know in the comments. For Mew Lettuce, I decided I would give her a pair of small boots. I wanted to have her smart but reserved personality shine through in this redesign, so I felt that these small cute boots that she has fit her best. Please let me know, which character redesign is your favorite so far, Mew Ichigo, Mew Mint or this one, Mew Lettuce. I gave Mew Lettuce a small leafy lettuce head symbol throughout this design too. You can see it on the bows on her shoes, and in other places too. The new reboot anime is quickly approaching, and it honestly looks so good. All of the rebooted character designs look so pretty too. Is anyone else really excited for it? I can't wait to see it. I originally wanted to use the Tokyo Mew Mew soundtrack in the background of these videos as some of the music from the soundtrack sounds quite nice and chilled, but I can't otherwise these videos would get claimed and I don't want that. So, you'll have to settle for the Mew Mew Power soundtrack, which still has some nice music by the way. I really hope you like this redesign. I really like the way this one turned out a lot. I think this one might even be my favorite so far.
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this redesign of Mew Lettuce. Let me know which Mew Girl you want me to do next. In the meantime, I'll be bringing some new content to the channel. I have a new video currently in the works. You'll probably see that appear on my channel either in the next week or the week after that. Until then feel free to go back and watch my previous videos. Don't forget to leave a like and maybe a comment as it will help me in the algorithm and will help my channel grow. If you want to see more from me then don't forget to subscribe. It would really mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching. See you later.